I believe I rest on the observed uh, and well-established protocol. I want to address the entire world and let the whole world know that Nigerians fought and gave their lives in this country so that we may enjoy democracy that we currently have today. But in Akwaibo State, due to ambition, or let me say ambitions of selfish people, people that this state have given opportunity to become what they never dreamed they could become, people that other people have given them opportunity, some of them were commissioners for six years and governor for eight years, making 14 years, who never had a second address. But today, that democracy is being threatened in our private state. And I want the whole world to know and to hear me that we have seen total breakdown of law and order today, led by the Nigeria police. The same police that I'm using the resources of the state to make sure that we maintain peace and order in this state. This state has been the most peaceful state in this country. We maintain all oil installations so that money could be gotten out of here and sent to Abuja for the police force to be maintained. It's the same police force today, supervised by the Commissioner of Police, who came in against the court of law. And what did the speaker do? The speaker was maintaining law and order. The court ordered the speaker that those who are defended, the seats should be declared vacant. This is not the first time. And it's in line with the rule of law. But since last night we heard about this, and we called the commissioner of police and told him we've heard that you want to escort those sacked three members against the rule of law. And he denied. And this morning, even what they were drumming, the so-called Warsaw Saw War, we've seen a trace of it today. Because some people were arrested with fake army uniforms. They came with 18 AK-47. And they were arrested. But unfortunately, as I'm speaking right now, as those people were arrested, the QRS person, through the order of the Commissioner of Police, were asking that those people should all be let go. And before this time, fortunately, some of our guys were able to capture this thing with their phones. So we have pictures of the fake army uniforms those people were wearing. We are going to play for the whole world to see. The 18 AK-47 recovered by the police. Police had allowed them to take them all back. This is the same war saw that was pronounced. The IG of police had been, we've reported this thing to the highest order. We've reposted this to the presidency, to all the arms of the security agencies. And nobody had taken steps to address it. So they are leaving Aquaibon people to defend themselves. Meanwhile, they are using our own oil money to maintain security. All of, just recently, the SS crude account that was kept for our own people had been used to acquire military weapons. We didn't know those weapons were used to come and intimidate Aquaibon people. So we've called on all the powers that be We've called on the international community that this is a war that has been declared. I've never heard where Nigeria police is a partisanship. This is the first time where the entire police structure is belonging to a particular political party. But since we don't have the police, we don't have anything except God that we have and our people. We want to let the whole world know that whatever happens in this state is caused by the police, not any other arm of the agency but the police force, perpetrated and led by the police commissioner. And we also want to say here that those people that have arrested, they should not let them go. And our people are calling. In 24 hours, we've had three different police commissioners. The present police commissioner came, since he came every day, he's been holding meeting with the people that the court had actually declared as illegal occupants of their seat. And today he led them into the place with talks. And we are saying here that our Kwaibom, today the peace is being threatened. And our own unity as a people is being intimidated by the police. 
and we are calling on all that let the police force be called to order. They should go and defend Nigerian territories where need be. They were meant to maintain peace and order, internal peace and order, not to cause chaos in someone's state. And if they are playing politics this way, there's no hope for democracy in this country. And this is in line with the plan. We have their script that, number one, they want to cause mayhem in the state so the election will not be held. The same day, general election will be called. But we are trying to tell them if election is not held on that week, we can hold election on that same day. They should forget election here. Either you hold election the same day everybody is uh, attending to their own, or forget elections here. Forget about elections here. Elections must be held the same day. That is what they are trying to perpetrate here now. And you need to see, they've injured a lot of our people. They've destroyed people's houses. And police are supervising them to do this. Which country have this have ever happened? And we've reported this, they tend to ignore. I've called the IG police oppressions. Who's supposed to call this into order? He promised me he was going to call this to order. Nothing had been done. We've tried to reach IG of police this morning. He has rebuffed us. Why should this happen in a country that has constitution, this law, and everybody here is a citizen? Nobody was brought into Nigeria. Nobody here is an alien. So we are warning the whole country now that a crime bomb state is under siege by the police, not by any other person. Because we have all our people here. And we have very peace-loving people. But our peace is being threatened by the police force. Let the commissioner that they just posted last weekend, who is coming to perpetrate this, let's assume he has finished his course. He has achieved his own mission. I want to call on the police force. This evening, the police commissioner of this state must be withdrawn. He has to leave this evening. He must be withdrawn. The head of the QRS must be withdrawn. So that we can maintain peace. And let them also sound a note of warning that those who have governed the state and left, they should stay in Abuja. The state, we have a population of 6.2 million people. We will not take this as a people. We gave you opportunity, you governed, you're calling on war. Meanwhile, you kept your children abroad and calling on war. Which children do you want to kill? In which state? We stand for peace and we shall ever remain peace and law abiding citizens of this country. We believe the constitution will take this course. And we also call you on the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Please, we are all citizens of this country. And that the president should take necessary action to forestall this because we see this sign. And we have actually been sounding this warning. We've noted this everywhere, but it seems to be ignored. Today it has played out. I want to believe my people will be protected by the constitution and by the law of this country. I also want to believe that the president will do everything humanly possible to save lives and property here. And call those who were calling for war so that this is war so that we see war. Let them report to Abuja. Go and fight war, or they should be sent to where Boko Haram are fighting. Let them go and contain Boko Haram. And yes. Bible is not war so. Yes. Whoever is calling for this, let him go there and fight. There is Boko Haram threatening the, 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 this country. So you should go there and do it. We say no to this intimidation no. by the police. We say no to this siege by the police. No. We believe we'll be supported by the foreign missions, we'll be supported by all Nigerians, we'll be supported by all and sundry who love peace and who remain law-abiding in this country. God bless Nigeria. God bless our power of state.